You should always drive with due care and attention. Car-related stunts like drifting should always be left to the experts and kept off the public highway. Sadly, though, there are many amateur enthusiasts only too eager to prove themselves by putting the pedal to the metal. Or in this case, metal to the metal. Despite appearances, and many of the practitioners, it's not just a mindless activity. There really is a lot of physics involved in drifting. Unlike normal cornering, when the driver wants the car to stick to the road, when drifting, he wants it to slide around. Drifting is a way of using the car's inertia, its tendency to go in a straight line, following Newton's first law of motion. First, he deliberately reduces the friction between the rear tyres and the road by spinning the tyres very fast. This loses the traction and makes the back end spin out. At the end of the turn, steering out of the corner decreases torque, making the back wheels regain grip. Get more drift? Question a man's driving skills and you attack the very foundation of his masculinity. So I won't be quizzing any of these hot wheeled heroes anytime soon. This low budget drifter has mastered the art of reducing friction on those spinning back wheels. But when it comes to regaining friction and control, that wet surface prevents the tyres from gripping. The open road is no place for drifting. And this guy's way off track. Actually, he does start on the road, but then he goes off it and onto the grass and loses traction. Before he can regain grip and recover steering, the wall brings him to a smashing stop. On a closed course, here's what a professional would have done. Steering out of the drift reduces torque and stops the car spinning round completely. Sometimes drifting isn't even planned. I got that on video. <laughs> Thanks to our eagle-eyed, giggling cameraman, we're able to see how flooring it in a powerful supercar causes those wheels to spin and lose friction, creating an impromptu drift. <laughs> yes, way. But look on the bright side, great parallel parking there. Has this guy got it? Well, he's got the muscle. And just look at his wheel spin, reducing the friction. And there it is, nice steering out of the drift. Oh, look, steering into the drift for torque can give the car a 360 degree spin. Yo! If only he had the road all to himself, it would have been better. Whoa!